On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding and dead wire detonators on the new aftermarket part for the BAL-27, the Jack Deathmark, which turns this assault rifle into a laser gun. Let's go test it out. In my opinion, this is finally one of the more interesting aftermarket parts we've gotten this season, or at least since week one when we got the blunderbuss. And let's hope that this thing can perform. Because if you've seen the BAL-27 before, obviously it's just like a normal AR that's a fully automatic, but now it is a burst laser rifle. So to shoot it, if I just tap it, as you can see, it'll only literally light up. So you have to hold it down long enough for the burst fire to go off. And it does look like it can, ooh, maybe I almost, I almost spoke too soon. It looks like I can kill tier one zombies in one burst, but I think every shot of the burst needs to land, which is uh, yeah, a little concerning so far damage wise, but I guess we'll see where this goes. And now against some tier two zombies without upgrading or pack a punching, looks like it can take out armor, but I didn't see the thing pop up. I just saw the helmet disappear. So maybe it actually does damage through armor because I didn't get any notification for the helmet breaking. It just kind of happened. It just disappeared. Oh, there we go. And it can still handle some tier two zombies. Okay, maybe I was just a little too concerned about it going in. But you can see down in the bottom right in our ammo, it only shows the amount that's in the mag. So technically this weapon is infinite ammo. We will have to reload it, but hopefully with Maggle holding, we won't have to touch the reload at all because there's absolutely no reserve ammo being shown. And how are we doing against some tier three zombies with absolutely no upgrades? This is against an unarmored zombie and we can see some damage happening here. We actually might be able to take one out. And there's actually some burn marks from the laser on them. Okay, not looking bad so far. Let's try to find a fully armored zombie. And here's the guy we're looking for. Let's start lighting them up. Damage on it. I mean, it's, it's not doing an insane amount, obviously, but it is noticeable. It is still hurting them, it looks like. But I don't think we're going to do a whole lot without any upgrades or pack punch. Let's go ahead and change that. Let's get this legendary. Let's get this to pack three and let's light these guys up. Okay. Killed that tier three zombie almost instantly. Killed that one instantly. The armored one did survive, but it looks like I can one burst tier three zombies if they don't have armor. So there goes my theory about this actually hitting through armor. Oh, right, look, we did take out that fully armored zombie right there. Maybe I just need a crit. And after pack a punching, it looks like our mag goes from 30 to 60. Still has unlimited ammo, it looks like, or at least no stock ammo to grab from. And what is our reload looking like default? Not the fastest reload, so let's go ahead and add speed call on it. Give it a little shot on these zombies. And what's the reload looking like now? A bit faster. Nothing groundbreaking. And now that we've seen that, let's go ahead and add Maggle holding this. So we have 565 bullets in it right now, but that's not the max amount. Looks like max amount is 660. So maybe this can run out of ammo with Maggle holding. Either that or it just does not know what to do once you throw Maggle holding on it. And let's go ahead and take this for a spin against a tier two HVT to start us out. All right, Mimic, how's this doing against you? Let's give it a full burst. It looks like after two bursts, he's already down to half health and he should be dead right here that ain't bad so far damage wise and i can't remember if they've added in any other laser type weapons into this game maybe just the morse but i don't know if it's the same kind of laser so i was curious to see if dead wire detonators would even work with this so i'm gonna go ahead and apply it here and will it activate on any of these zombies doesn't look like it so far just absolutely tearing through them there is a little like ex almost like explosion whenever you kill a zombie where they just completely shatter into like atoms, but it doesn't look like dead wire detonators is activating or maybe the gun's just way too strong for this tier. So let's go ahead and grab a tier three bounty to test it out on. What kind of HVT are we getting? Oh, and it's an abomination. Perfect. I need to run and grab some perks first. We need to make sure this is up to its full capacity. Let's make sure that we have dead shot. Let's get PHC and all the rest of the crew. And let's see how this is doing against this abomination. So without any mouth open, the damage not looking that great. But once the mouth is open, we already got a face broke and only took two bursts. Let's see if we can keep that up. Let's hop on top of the umbrella and try to force a laser. Go for it, buddy. There you go. This should be middle face broken if we're going off of how fast it took us to break the first one. Never mind. We ended up breaking. Oh, now we got some helpful Harry's over here. Fellas, I got this under control. Let's get back to it. Now the middle face is gone. Lighting into the last and final face. Can we take it out? So far, so good. He's at very low health. You stay over here. Don't you go to him. You stay here. Eyes on me, abomination. My eyes are up here. And he's distracted. Come on, buddy. Come back over here. 
All right, he's gone. We'll have to we'll have to find another one. But so far, the weapon's not looking bad. The only complaint I have about it so far is that the fire rate is a little bit slow since you have to wait for it to fully charge up for it to shoot out the burst. But the damage is looking pretty decent. And it's also looking like the Stormcrawler isn't here for us to kill. Or is he? There he is. There's our guy. We just had to look around a little bit more. How much damage are we doing against you? Can we get that mask of yours broken? He doesn't even look like he notices that we're here. There we go. Got the mask broken. Finally. And damage without the mask is pretty decent against him. But like I said before, the fire rate on it is extremely slow having to wait to charge up for each burst. I was kind of hoping once we pack a punched it, that wouldn't be an issue. But it looks like there's no getting around it. And the storm caller also, no way for you to get around dying here. Sorry, buddy. You gotta go. And he finally noticed us right when he's on the brink of death. See you later, pal. Night, night. And all the zombies forgot about us immediately. Yeah, that's right. Go despawn. Let's keep running bounties until we get another mega bomb. Are we getting one right here? Nope, it's a mimic. Come on out, mimic. We gotta try this against you. Let's do a little bit of hip firing here. Oh, shit. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't be doing that. But the hip fire don't look too bad, at least accuracy wise. And we haven't tested this against a big horde of zombies yet. And we got a decent one going right here. Let's try to train him up a bit more. Maybe I'll even throw a decoy. See how we're doing against a big group firing into it. Not looking like we're getting a whole lot of kills. Just hip firing into it. If we ADS a bit. Maybe aim more towards the head. Mimic, you're, you're being a dick. I'm trying to get these zombies. Mm, this would not be the weapon I'd bring in if you're trying to fight giant groups of zombies. I'm trying to figure out what this weapon's niche would be because it's not like a boss killer. It can kill bosses, but I think the fire rate's really holding it back from being one of the better boss killing weapons. And it's not really doing anything insane against these zombies. I think it's just more of like a fun version of the Bell 27. And while I'm waiting to find another bounty so we can take out another abomination, right now COD Next is happening at the time I'm recording this. And they haven't revealed too much about zombies so far. We haven't gotten to the zombies portion of COD Next yet. But they did reveal the mastery camos. The multiplayer camos look great as always. Dark Matter is coming back and it looks a whole lot like Dark Aether from Cold War. And they also revealed the zombies camos for this game and they just look beautiful. The mastery for BO6 in zombies is going to be called Nebula, and it just a it looks absolutely stunning. And we also have Mystic Gold, Opal, and Afterlife as our other camos in it, and they all just look great. I just cannot wait to get my hands on some BO6 zombies and grind out those camos. It just looks so good. And the Nebula camo looks very similar to Borealis with just like a little bit of a different twist on it, a little leaning more into like the space theme. I'm really trying to manage my expectations with BO6, but it's so hard, man. The game looks so good. I feel like zombies is fully back. Like we're eating. All the stuff they've already revealed for the game looks sweet. The stuff they're revealing now looks even better. I'm just, I'm itching to play it. I feel like there's no way Treyarch can let us down. It, it looks like they've really put a lot of time and passion into this BO6. And I think we're in for a fantastic year for zombies. There we go. We finally got our rematch against the Mega Abomination. He seems to be looking straight at the wall. Why don't you come on over here? Let's talk this out. There you go. Shoot that laser. We'll get that face broken immediately again. Let's hope we don't get any more helpful Harrys this time. I don't need no help. Everybody stay back. This one's mine. It's not doing too bad so far. We already got him down to close to half health. With one face gone, about to be two. The second he wants to shoot another laser. There we go. Right on time. There goes the second face. Down to one more. And let's try to force him into shooting another one. We'll see if he can do it while we're up top here. Go for it. Shoot it. There it is. And he stops. Why are you stopping? Keep it going. There you go. That's what we like to see. See you later. This is actually really good against Abominations. It ain't doing bad against them. And just because I want to take this for a spin against the Entity, let's go ahead and do a Spore Control contract here in Tier 2. That way I can just get an inhibitor that we can start to use in the Dark Aether so we don't waste any time. Because I'm still missing the Grenade Bandolier schematic, and hopefully we'll be able to take down the boss and actually unlock it from them. Or maybe get it from one of the contracts. I want to try to complete all the contracts as well. And before we make our way to the Dark Aether, I really want to see what happens if we were to run out of ammo ammo with this because before we throw a MAGA holding you guys saw there was absolutely no stock ammo even shown so I want to see if MAGA holding actually nerfs this weapon if we're, there's a chance we can actually run out of ammo with it or if we'll just roll back over to 600 bullets so I'm just gonna sit here and shoot this until we're completely empty I am noticing though it looks like it's a five round burst instead of a three so there's that actually it looks like I can shoot this a lot faster than I'm thinking but we do run out of ammo it seems like huh 
Weird. Maybe they didn't really think ahead with this weapon and MAGA holding. It did take a while to actually run out, and I'm pretty sure I pick up a good amount every time I like run over an ammo pouch on the ground. So ammo shouldn't be a problem with it. It's just weird that it can run out. And while I'm sitting there shooting out all those bullets, the fire rate is actually a little deceivingly slow. It looks like there should be a cooldown after each burst that you fire, but you can immediately start up another one the second the bullets come flying out of the gun. So maybe I was a bit wrong about the, the burst fire on this. Well, that's enough dicking around in tier three. Let's go ahead and bring this into the new dark aether. All right, let's do this. I'm going to start off with the spore down here. Get this going so we can at least fight the boss if we can't get any other contracts done and see how this weapon does against the entity. And hopefully I'll be a bit better at starting this off because last time we did this, it was my very first time fighting the entity. So I messed up the maze just a little bit and might have went down a few more times than we were planning on. But this time will be different. So we go straight through here, right into here. We keep it moving. We go this way, then this way. I'm pretty sure we got to climb up right here. Yep. Jump over to this. Size keep going. Gotta go this way. Through here. Back into here. If the zombies would please let me through. Ain't no way I'm going down right here. Ain't happening. Zombies go into that thermite. Okay, we are going down. Whatever. That's fine. First one's free. The rest, you're gonna have to pay for. And I think we're good. I think we got it. Yes, sir. Give me that. And let's go trade this in for the USB. What up, whale? Trade that. Where'd it go? I traded it, but I didn't get my USB. Hello? Oh, there it is. It just didn't make any noise when it spawned. Now let's start up our escort contract. Maybe we can get all the way through with this. We just start it immediately. And this time around, we don't got a VR-11 to save our ass if uh, this starts taking a little too much damage. So we need to play a bit smarter than we did the first time we fought the entity. Well, I guess the smart thing to do would to not do this contract before the entity. But you know what? I got to learn. We will master this Dark Aether one of these days. And today might not be that day. We're already down to 56%. And we're not even at the first stop yet. These mimics are deadly. Oh yeah, 4%. All right, whatever. That's fine. We got two other contracts we can try. But before we do that, let's go and just make sure that we're good on this Easter egg. We got to throw the USB into here. Spawn in that boss. And we got to take out the key holder. Let's throw a thermite down. Keep the zombies away from me. I guess it's not really doing anything. The zombies don't care about that thermite. Maybe the cashmere will help. I don't even think that's doing anything. It just fell right through the stairs. But we got our key holder down to half health. Less than that. Let's just take him out and get it over with. See you later, pal. Oh, another thermite go. Two thermites, double thermy. Please die. I think we got him. Right about here. Nope, one more. Maybe another one. There it is. We got to make sure we pick up that key before it gets lost in the sauce over here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Found it. Gimme. I'm out. Nice try, zombies. I'll see you guys later. All right. Let's do the Outlast contract. Hopefully we can survive. Let's start it up, please. And this better give me my schematic. Oh, God damn it. We're off to a great start here in the Dark Aether. How many self revives do I have left? I have two. Okay. We cannot go down at all starting now. Cashmere, you're gonna have to help with that. We still have an entity to fight. Oh no, here comes the EMP boss. Took on all the zombies for us, which I appreciate. But he's gonna kick our ass. We gotta keep him at a distance. You think this bandolier would be able to replenish our cashmere's a bit faster? I only got to use one that whole fight. But we made it through the contract. Can't be too mad. And we got another bandolier. I saw another self-revive in there too. Are they going to let me get it? They're making me fight for it, that's for sure. I might just have to get enough kills to get a, an Aether Shroud here. Come on, I just need a little bit more. Let me get an Aether Shroud, please. Please. Before this reward disappears. There we go, Aether Shroud. Let me in there. I will take that Legendary Aether Tool. I will take that Self Revive. And I already have the Disciple Bottle Schematic. I don't need that. I think we just cut our losses and we get out of here. If we actually go the right way for once out of this, this contract. Every single time I go up the wrong staircase. Here we go. Here's the exit. Let me out. We gotta go find that entity now. While we still have self-revives to use. Alright, let's do this. 
We'll see how well this new aftermarket part can do against the entity. Because last time the VR11 was really, really good against it. We have a few jugs as backup in case our VR VR11 or our aftermarket part can't do well enough against it. But hopefully this can handle it. Come on, entity. Show me your balls. Let me see them. Bring them out for me. Uh, that's not that bad. A three burst on each ball. That ain't terrible. Maybe even a two burst if I'm hitting my shots right. Ooh, but this might take a bit. Come on. Go ahead and teleport. You coward. We actually have not done a whole lot of damage to her. There's still a lot more to be done. Come on. Why don't you have a seat? No calling in airstrikes. That ain't fair. I don't got no airstrikes to call in. Oh, shit. All right, maybe we just need to get her uh, nice and warmed up. Maybe we call in a jug. Let's try that out. There we go. Give me that. Now, where is she? Let's light her up. We got to take all these out. Mimic, now is not the time. Mimics are always here, regardless if I'm fighting Legion trying to take out balls or if I'm fighting the entity trying to take out balls. The Mimics always are there to try to stop me. Always to pull me out of the way. And now we can't even see the rest of her balls. They're all hidden. A nuke, though, that'll help. And there goes our first jug. We only got one more left. And we still don't have that much damage on her. Okay, you know what? You're, you're doing pretty well here, Entity. I'm not going to lie to you. You might be kicking our ass a bit. I don't know if this gun is good enough to take her out. Because we do not have a whole lot of damage on her. Let's try another jug. The first one was a warm-up. It don't help that she's healing off these orbs either. Let's get into our jug. Where is she at now? There she is. There's our girl. The jug is just so good. Absolutely obliterating all these orbs. And we got the two on the hip. Perfect. That's a good amount of damage. Come on. Let's keep it going. Can we take out two phases of it? There we go. Can't quite see the hips. We'll have to get closer on that. Nothing this gun can't handle. There we go. All right, we got her low, but no more jugs for us to rely on. We're kind of shit out of luck when it comes to that department. And maybe even the surviving department. We're getting messed up over here. Oh no, did I fall too far? No, I didn't. I'm good. We're, we're fine. We're chilling. This is a very stressful boss fight, especially when she's shooting lasers at me midair. Stop it. Knock that shit off. Yeah, go teleport. I teleport too if I saw me coming at you. Or whatever. I don't think this is happening. I think she's got us beat. Let's throw another cashmere. Let's go down again. I think I have one more self revive left. We are playing very fast and loose here. Come on. Only a few more balls to go down. And she's teleporting again, isn't she? Stop that. Why don't you stay in one spot? You don't even have any more balls for me to shoot. Oh, in the hands. I was distracted. There we go. Got her to half health. We still got nine minutes left. Maybe we do got this. Just as long as we don't go down again. We just gotta really play it smart and safe here. Gotta make sure we're targeting the balls early and often. It's not a cheap shot against this boss. That's the only thing we can hit. Come on. Stop it, Mimic. There we go. Okay, actually, you know what? Confidence has risen. I think we got her. Let's just focus on taking these out. Get the head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Another cashmere to save me. Let's take out the hips. Mimic, please. I'm trying to do the hokey pokey over here. I don't need to be turned around. I can turn myself around. No! Oh, shit. That's not good. We got her so low, though. Do we keep going for this? It's insanely risky. I have no self-revives here. And we have some decent loot on us. I feel like we still gotta go for it. We can do it. It'll be worth it. Get the schematic or die trying. And I ain't gonna die. I ain't ready to go yet. Gotta jump off here. Please don't knock me. 
cool. Back into the portal. Or not. Nope, there we go. Okay, I was starting to get scared there for a second. Maybe we just wait till she teleports again instead of uh, wasting our resources on this one. There we go. Good teleport. Nice. Awesome. Come on. We got this. We got this. We got this. Just a few more shots. Bad mimic. She's calling in yet another airstrike. We got to stop her here. We're going all in for this one. Oh, no. Damn, she teleported. She was one orb left. If we can just take out all of her orbs one more time, we're good. Kashmir, save me now, please. And that's it. Damn it. She was so close to dying. So close. We had her. We had it in the bag. Oh, if we didn't fumble our, our first jug, she would definitely be sleep. At least we didn't lose too much. It was only like a few legendary aether tools, which sucks, but it, it's not irreplaceable. Let's see if I can take this lift while I'm down. Is it possible? It is not. All right, Mangler. Just you and me, buddy. I'll see you in the afterlife. Damn, dude. So close. So overall review of the Jack Death March. It's a pretty fun weapon to use, but it doesn't like have a glaringly obvious use. Like it can take out elites, albeit a bit slowly. It can take out tier three zombies in about one burst, depending on if you hit a headshot or not, or if they got armor. And it was about a nut hair away from taking out the echo of the entity. So like it can definitely do damage, but I, I think there's probably some better weapons out there. It's definitely a fun aftermarket part it turning the battle 27 into a laser gun but there isn't really anything this aftermarket part gives you that i'd bring it in over like the normal battle 27 besides like the aesthetic of it i guess but it's not a bad aftermarket part it can definitely handle its own and it can deal some damage it's just not like really out there in terms of what it can do differently from any other weapon it's kind of just same old same old it turns into like a five round burst i guess is cool but i'm gonna go ahead and end it there thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later